Disturbing video out of New Mexico. Uh, police pulling a woman out of her car, leaving her face down, handcuffed on the pavement. They thought she was a drunk driver. It turns out she was having a medical emergency. And ABC's Aditi Roy has the story. A harrowing ordeal for one New Mexico woman as she is ripped out of her car by police officers and left face down on the street handcuffed. Officers thought she was drunk, but Ravina Garcia was actually having a severe diabetic attack and was completely limp. I just was lost. It all began when she hit the truck in front of her. Officers couldn't get her out of the car, so they broke the window. I just didn't know how to open the door. They threw her on the ground, put her in cuffs, leaving her face down, then walking away while she laid there for more than a minute, raising concerns from the sheriff's office. In this case, there was no resistance. Um, we are looking at that very seriously. Police finally put her in a cruiser, but her blood sugar was dropping dangerously low. I'm, I'm surprised I didn't go into a coma in the back of that police car. Paramedics arrived 10 minutes later and treated her. What concerns me is there's no need to lay someone on the ground for that amount of time. Uh, there were other deputies around that could have assisted in at least sitting her up. There is an internal review of Garcia's arrest. The sheriff plans on meeting with the Garcia family to discuss ways that law enforcement can make sure medical issues are considered at each scene and treated properly. So it looks like there might be some changes on the way. And there should be. Thank you for that, Adina.